In the last video, we created this standing Instagram text animation. And in this video, we are gonna learn how to export this text animation as a mogart, which stands for Motion Graphics Template. So we can easily use it in Premiere Pro with customization options. So first, let's jump into Adobe After Effects. Now we are in the Instagram text animation project in After Effects. If you missed this text animation tutorial, you can find it in the description of this video. And if you are interested in accessing the project file, you can join my Patreon. The link in the description. Alright, let's go to the main com and here you can see the final text animation. To enable Essential Graphics, first head over to the window menu and select Essential Graphics to begin the export process for your motion graphics. In the Essential Graphics panel, set the primary composition to main. Since the main comp contains the position animation, next give your graphics template a name, for example, Instagram text one. Now you need to add elements to the Essential Graphics panel so they can be easily customized in Premiere Pro. To do this, go to the text layer, expand the upper text layer and reveal the source text property. Then simply drag and drop it into the Essential Graphics panel. Next, expand the text one layer. Again, reveal the source text and drag it onto the Essential Graphics panel as well. Now it's time to enable text properties. In the source text properties, enable all customization options including custom font selection, font size adjustment and voice styles. Then click OK to apply the changes. Using the same method, enable text properties for text on as well. And that's it. The editable text elements are now set up. Now let's add a group to the Essential Graphics panel. Go to the bottom left corner and click Add Group. Once the group is created, rename it to Text. Since we are gonna place all the text properties into this group, now drag text 2 into the text group. Do the same for the text 1 as well. So both text elements are organized into their own group, which is great because it makes it easier to find and adjust text properties later in Premiere Pro's graphics panel. By adding text properties, you have already included controls for font, style, size, and voice styles. But what if you wanna change the text color? To enable that, we will add color settings to the Essential Graphics panel. If you search for fill in the timeline, you won't find any fill properties because we have not applied any yet. To include fill color, click on the animator icon for the upper text layer. Then go to fill color and choose RGB. After doing this, you will find the fill color option inside animator on. Now repeat the same process for the lower text layer. Click on the animator icon and set the fill color option to RGB. It's currently red, but you can change it to white which is a clean and elegant choice. For the upper text layer, choose any color you like. Personally, I am going with something similar to orange or yolo. Once the colors are set, drag the fill color from timeline into the Essential Graphics panel. Rename this to Text 2, since it connects to that text layer. This makes it easier to recognize in Premiere Pro when you wanna change the text color. Next, do the same for text on fill color. Drag it into the Essential Graphics panel and rename it to text on. Once you have added both color elements, you can organize them into a group. As usual, go to bottom left corner and click add group and rename it to color. Finally, drag these fill colors for both text on and text to into this color group. That's it, color elements are now fully added and organized. Let's move on to the next step. Adding position properties is important because it allows you to move the text around freely. So head over to the effects and presets and search for transform effect. Once you find it, drag it directly onto the both text on and text two layers. Now we wanna isolate just position property in the timeline. Before doing that, make sure both text layers are selected. Then type position in the timeline search bar. Once you see the position property under the transform effect, drag the position of text 2 into the essential graphics panel. Rename it to text 2. Since this position control is connected to the text layer. Repeat the process for the text on. Drag its position property into the essential graphics panel and rename it accordingly. Something like text on. Or anything that easy for you to identify. After adding both position controls, create a new group of them. Drag both position properties into this group and name it something like position. If you want, you can rearrange the groups in the Essential Graphics panel by dragging them up or down to organize your layout. Personally, I like to keep the text editing group at the top followed by position then color settings. And that's it, all the necessary elements have been added to the Essential Graphics panel. In this part of the video, we are gonna export our tending Instagram text animation as a motion graphic template or mogot file. First click on export motion graphics template. If your project has not been saved yet, After Effects will prompt you to save it first. 
Once that done, a pop-up window will appear. Choose the destination of your folder where you wanna save the mockup file. You can rename the file if needed. Then click the save button. Make sure these options are checked before exporting. Include a video preview on if fonts are missing, on if After Effects is required. Finally, click OK to export the mockup file. Now let's jump into Premiere Pro and see how we can use it. Once you open Premiere Pro, go to the window menu and select Essential Graphics. In the Essential Graphics panel, click on the Install Motion Graphics template icon. Then navigate to the folder where we just saved the mockup file. Select the Motion Graphics template and hit the open button. Now you'll find your Motion Graphics template under the My Templates category. Just drag and drop it into the timeline. And there you go. The text animation we created in After Effects is now available in Premiere Pro. If you want to customize the animation, first make sure the template in the timeline is selected. Then head over to the properties panel. Here you can make all adjustments we enable while exporting from After Effects, such as editing text, changing its position, or updating the colors. Let's try it out. Type something like Instagram trending in the text on field, and you instantly see the change in the program monitor. You can also adjust the font size using the slider, move the text horizontally or vertically using the position controls. Click on the fill color options to change the text color. And if you want to tweak more settings like opacity, rotation, or other effects, you can do that from the effect controls panel as well. So to wrap up creating animation directly in Premiere Pro can be a bit tricky, but doing it in After Effects is much easier and more flexible. Just build your motion graphics in After Effects, export them as a mockup file, and use them in Premiere Pro without hassle and wasted time. That's it for this tutorial. See you soon in the next title animation video.